Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So it's currently 10 o'clock in the evening right now. I am joining you from Parma in Mallorca. So I'm currently out here at the moment for a shoot with Beauty Works and I was meant to vlog all day today. It didn't happen. I'm on a, on the first day of a shoot. I like to really focus on like the job in hand, being very on it, literally being like here, there and everywhere for the brand. Obviously that's why I'm out here. Um, but whenever I can vlog on the side of the trip and do it sort of like in my own time, time vlogging the little spare moments when we're like getting ready or like we, I can show you around I also really like to do that as well so yeah I'm currently out here shooting with beauty works been here for one day we are staying in probably the most unbelievable hotel I've probably ever stayed in I definitely didn't say this isn't like my top three hotels I've ever stayed in it's called Capricat this is apparently where George Clooney comes to stay when he comes to stay in Palm but that's what Ellen told me anyway she said this is where George Clooney comes to stay that's definitely not Ellen's accent but I'm just gonna get on ready now we've just been out for tapas um in like Palma like city center I'm not gonna lie the diet at the minute is an absolute utter shambles and I'm about to head to LA and Tommy and I are going to Dubai. I'm not actually mentioned it to you guys yet, but in May, Tommy and I are basically gonna be away for the whole of May. We've got like two huge holidays in May. Um, both of our birthdays are in May. His is the 7th of May, mine's the 26th. And for his birthday, we're gonna be in LA. And for my birthday, we're gonna be in Dubai. Dubai was actually the holiday that I booked for Tommy's Christmas present, if you guys remember me telling you, but then he unfortunately broke his rib and I had to cancel it. So we've moved it to my birthday. But it means that the diet, well, I'm actually scared for the kind of few, the food, the food I'm gonna consume um, over the next few weeks. I'm just gonna quickly tie my hair up, grab my skincare stuff, and then take my makeup off and get ready for bed because it's getting quite late and I've been so shattered today, honestly. Zoe actually said to me recently, she was like, on your vlogs, all you ever talk about is, I'm so busy, I'm so tired, I don't stop, like my life is so crazy. <laughs> but I don't really know, it just is. And at the moment I just feel like, the last few weeks, even like the last month is just really catching up on me. And this morning, I actually mentioned it on my Instagram story, I woke up to something that made me really, really upset, I'm not gonna lie, not to start the vlog off on a negative. Um, but basically, I don't know if you guys remember, but a while back on my YouTube and my Instagram, I spoke about the fact that I suffered with pigmentation issues on my arms. And it was a massive, massive confidence knock for me. I spent about a year suffering with this pigmentation issue and I literally didn't get my arms out for a year. It's when I also started Filters by Molly May, my fake tan brand, and I felt like I couldn't promote the tan properly or even really wear it because it just constantly looked like I had patchy fake tan on my arms when really it was my pigmentation issue. The um, real name for it is called Tinea Versicolor. I have been to the doctor about it in the past, but there isn't really a cure for it. I popped it on my Instagram this morning and um, everyone was like, you just need to use anti-dandruff shampoo like on your arms and that's meant to get rid of it. But I've tried that before when I had it last time and it didn't work. It, it just literally faded after a year, a year. I've woken up this morning and my arms are covered in it again. I cannot believe it. For two years now, I haven't had it. I don't know if you can really see that clearly, and I'm trying to not slip a boob, but it doesn't really show in the slide that well. But as you can see, all up my arm, this weird, like, sort of, here, there you go. Oh my gosh, it's actually getting worse. It's like weird patchiness. Especially being the owner of a fake tan brand, like to have what constantly looks like patchy fake tan on my arms. It just is really, really frustrating and I just never really saw it coming back. But a lot of people have been messaging me saying like, maybe it's stress, like maybe it's, it was the nerves from Tommy's fight. <laughs> I don't know, it literally could have been absolutely anything. But anyway, let me go grab my stuff, I'll quickly take my makeup off and then we can head into bed. I was just saying as well on the vlog that you said that George Clooney stays yeah, at this. Some. How do you know that? I don't know, I'm just on those things. <laughs> Ellen knows loads of stuff about hotels. She's like a little Everything. hotel and restaurant freak. Like she saves them all like on Instagram, don't you? And when, when anyone says, has anyone got any like rest, restaurant recommendations? Or you, Ellen's the best person to ask because she has like a full <laughs> list of every single country. Country's best restaurants. They be like, I'm going to Timbuktu. Yeah. Like, I know a spot. <laughs> I'm going to like Cape Verde and she'll never have been, but she'll be like, I've got a full list for you. I know all the best places. And I'm like, right, okay. And then we're gonna head to bed. I'm glad I've started the vlog now because I know that I'll definitely carry on tomorrow and I'll bring you guys along. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Night. 
Hello everybody. Welcome to my vlog. I turned it back off! <laughs> <laughs> you told me to nothing. You're an idiot. Start again. <laughs> what did you say? Hello everybody. Welcome <laughs> to this morning's vlog. I asked Jack to clean the camera lens for me and now I've got a new intro to the vlog. But good morning everyone. It's a new day in Parma and we are just starting glam. I do have a towel on, I'm not naked. Um, what kind of glam are we going for this morning, Holly? Um, we're going soft, mostly skin, but potentially put a little liner on you, but midway through the day, we'll go fresh. Well, there you go, guys. Plan with hair today, Jack. What are we starting with? Um, soft waves, beach yeah? waves. Why, what is going on? Well, why? Oh, it's gone now. You don't have to do this. Do you know what? Why don't you? No, it doesn't do no, that. No. So this morning, Holly and Ellen have sort of created iced coffees. And... Yeah, it's actually getting nicer as you go down because I think yeah, the sugar has sunk a little bit. <laughs> Cloudy again today. Um, I'm a bit gutted. I was saying yesterday that I've never come on a shoot where we've had problems with the weather when it's meant to be warm. Um, but the last two days have been really overcast and it's kind of sunny right now but it started like this yesterday it was sunny and then got cloudy and the clouds did not leave the whole day hoping it's not too windy and you can hear me okay but i'm just on the roof terrace of our room we've got a little canopy bed just there looking out to the sea and then down there you can see we have our own pool and it's quite a big pool actually it's really, really beautiful here, this hotel. Honestly, I'll show you around the room in a bit. It's really messy now, obviously. I really thought this time of year, it would be warm in Parma, but I think, I think we've just been a bit unlucky because Ellen was here the other week and she said that the weather was really warm. Lighting's pretty bad, but I've just got a clipping ponytail in that we've just used the waver tool to style. I've not popped one of these in in ages, actually. I used to wear them all the time. But yeah, these are the views. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like Parma is quite underrated, really. Yeah, it's that one. Wow. Like, we'll just Jack and I are going to show you something later on. Yeah. We've written a song. And I thinking, what on earth are you about to We're both going to sing it, aren't we, Jack? Yeah. It's called. What's We're it? still deciding. A -A no, I think A -A it sounds No, I think that's too long. I think it needs to be called Scared. <laughs> Don't you? It's just scared. We'll give you a little bit. <laughs> alone, afraid, scared. <laughs> no, you did it wrong. It's alone, afraid, and scared. Alone, but when you say scared, you've got to make your voice shake to show that you're scared. Like the. Um, alone, afraid, and scared. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Two, one. Alone, afraid, and scared. <laughs> This is all clip-ins by the way, I've literally got no permanent extensions in right now so if you guys have never used clip-ins before, it's actually mad what they can do. I'm not so great at popping clip-ins in myself but whenever I have someone that can help me put them in I do like to use them because they, they are really really great. He's just writing our song down. So it's, you took me out of space, I was petrified, I can never explain how I felt inside. Is that what it is? I've put... And now I can tell you how I feel inside. <laughs> I could never say how I really felt inside. I can never say how I never. I can never say how I really felt inside. Yeah. A little bit of a rhythm change. A little yeah. bit of a, a rhythm change. Because I was lone and afraid and scared. What did you just say? I don't know what these glasses are, by the way. And now I can tell you how I feel inside. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh. Just come to the restaurant in Caprica. Beautiful settings. This is actually so stunning, isn't it? Should have really worn it out for that I could have got a picture in here, but there we go. It's so, so, so pretty. Well, I forgot. I'm out of breath, I'm sure I've got the <laughs> <stairs. laughs> Pasta, prawns, and pasta and prawns. Mm. With chips. And it's got the same. the same. Jack got the kind same. of the same, but with different pasta. The same, but just different pasta. Oh. Look at the views. And I got pasta, but Thank pesto you. pasta. I'm gonna take the bucket off. Excuse me, do you have any mayonnaise? Sorry. Sorry? Mayonnaise? Yes. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put some cheese on top. Yeah. Guys, can I just Not say, easier, Holly asked an iced for an yeah, iced coffee for me to the waiter, and she said, can we have it with vanilla? 
um, to make it a bit sweeter and he's actually popped a dollop of vanilla ice cream in my coffee and Holly said it actually tastes really nice so I'm going to try it now but that's a first vanilla iced coffee and I've got vanilla ice cream in a coffee just it's good isn't it yeah it's good it makes it a bit creamy Signature yeah. Molly, like big glass. Yeah. Nice. Then you're going to have to say this tomorrow. No, because we weren't. We're going to have to order that every morning now. Hi, can we get an ice coffee with vanilla ice cream, please? These steps to get some content down here. I feel like those silver steps there would look so nice with like wet hair and like a stripy blue and white swimming costume. Very Pinterest vibes. That was the restaurant we just had lunch in, very beautiful. We're well, saying it'd be lovely for a proposal. Tommy, if you're watching this, <laughs> it'd be lovely for a proposal. Jogging. No, that Not really. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sesta Thank you. Back home. So this is the villa, guys. I'll give you a little mini tour whilst we're here. Nice. A little quick mini tour before we start again. But yeah, this is the little lounge area. Super cute. There is now hair extensions everywhere um, and products. Bed there, four poster bed, and then through here is the huge bathroom, the bath shower, and then through there is the outside space with the private pool, which is unbelievable, and a little roof terrace as well. And yeah, this is the bathroom. It actually loops the whole way back round. So through there, he was alone, afraid and scared. He was alone, afraid. That's wrong. No. Oh yeah. No, no, alone, and afraid and scared. I was alone, afraid and scared. <laughs> do vibrato. Scared. Do you think we do it to your throat? Scared. Stunning. What are you using there to brush your hair with? Money by beat works. Of course you are. Rate the brush out of ten. Ten. <laughs> so yeah, plan now is to shoot a little bit more social content with this hair and then we're switching up the hair and doing curls, is it, I think? Yes. No. Um, no. We're doing glam. Lovely. The shirt had to go on guys because the belly, well she was thriving, surviving and thriving. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going now. Don't you snake me on this vlog. <laughs> You're when not I've in got, it. When I've got this outfit on. I like the outfit. <laughs> I think it's all natural. I'd like one of those, is the one going for me. I, I personally don't think there's any better chewing gum than airwaves. Mm, really it just hits different. It makes you feel like you could just snog someone. I want to snog you. Mm, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't you're want it back. You're not my type. <laughs> oh, come. Do you like brunettes? <laughs> yes. Go away. Wake up. So our life chose you. And it looks like she's going on a fishing trip. <laughs> Does she not? Ellen is dressed for comfort and warmth. Yes, so is Molly May, to be fair. You should see the get up, guys. We're about to head off into Palma. Shoot day is done. Shoot day two is done. Yeah, shoot day number two went really, really well. Just exhausted, because um, they are intense, but they're good. We get everything done that we need to get done. Um, just taking my makeup off, cleansed, um, and you know, we're gonna head into Palma. We wanna go for some tea. Do a little bit of shopping maybe in Zara, um, get some bits and bobs. This is like the main entrance of the hotel and it basically was an old castle. Uh, we googled it because we were fascinated. It was a castle, like a chateau, and then they converted it into this like beautiful luxury hotel. Um, honestly, you'd think that I was doing an ad for this hotel and I got the stay for free. <laughs> I can assure you that it's not an ad and it's not for free, um, but it's just so, so, so incredible. Like the complex is huge. Um, and I could definitely see why people would want to have their wedding here. Outfit of the night. <laughs> the knees. The knees are going. Um, yeah, this is the outfit of the night. Very nice. 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 Very Trackies, Converse, little bag. Um, but yeah, this is the look. Hi everyone, welcome to my hut. I'll put her in here so she can have a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where we come on the shoot where we need a timeout. Um, it's kind of like the um, thing in Big Brother, the diary. <laughs> <laughs> come 
come in, I'll chat to you. Ask me some questions, Ella, about stuff, and I'll chat to you in the diary room. Um, Anything. I'm in the hot seat. Do you prefer trainers or sliders? Oh, trainers, because there's no support in sliders. Pajamas or tracksuits? Pajamas. Okay. Coke Zero or uh, Tango Ice Blast? Oh, Coke Zero all day. Okay. I love this. Um, this is great. <laughs> what else I got? <laughs> Carbonara or Don't cheese you. chips? Ooh. And you thought I was going to say Spagbol. Spagbol, which is obviously an easy question. Carbonara. Okay. More fulfilling. And you can get chips kind of anywhere. Driving or be driven? Driving. Okay. I'm going to do a drive with me soon, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> Plug. Plug in the mushroom. If anyone's got any recommendations for a uh, camera stand, please let us know. I spoke about that in my house vlog three. I had a proper strop about the fact that I couldn't find a camera stand, and we've ordered some more today, guys. So fingers crossed. The drive will be coming soon. Any more? Or are we closing this up? Um, Nike or Adidas. Oh, Nike. Converse or Le Bouton. <laughs> <laughs> So look, candid. I look quite pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ellen always go, oh gosh, I look quite pretty. Name the film if you know, you know. So, got, guys, I tripped and fell into Zara home. Um, we don't really have Zara home back home. So, whenever we're away and we see one, it has it's just like, it's just mandatory. It has to be done. I found the most beautiful dressing gown, um, but I don't think I'll be able to get it home, so I think I'm just going to order it. This dressing gown, it is so beautiful, it has the nicest feel to it. Um, but I've taken a picture of the coat and I'm just gonna order it when I get back home because it's too thick to put in my case and I wanna buy like the matching towels to it because they've got this little like navy rim that matches the little navy rim. So beautiful, love that. Little mini baguette, very cute. So dinner guys, I ordered spaghetti bolognese, obviously. These are the settings. We've got carbonara or spag bowl, salads, chips, obviously, essential. <laughs> Yum! So guys, we are back from dinner now and I'm currently just trying on some things that I picked up in Zara. Um, the queue wasn't long for the changing room, so I don't really have any excuse as to why I didn't try the stuff on. I just merely couldn't be bothered um, to try the stuff on and now I'm having instant regret because nothing fits me. Um, I picked up these cargoes in a size extra small, don't mind my literal high-waisted granny knickers, but these don't fit me, so... That's great, and the trousers that I tried on just before I switched the camera on did fit me, but they looked disgusting. So two of five items are no good. So I'll show you what I've got next. Okay guys, the jeans are actually okay. I bought these little flares. Um, we weren't too sure about them in the shop, but I did kind of want them to be a little bit baggier than this, not like skinny jeans and then a flare at the bottom, but I don't think I've ever bought a pair of Zara jeans before that fit me. I bought these in a size 36, which is a UK eight if you're a similar size to me, but that's not normally right because normally I buy a 10 in jeans. So I don't actually know why I picked them up in this. I thought this was a 10. I also bought this little top, this cute little um, khaki boob tube, with a little um, elasticated bag, which I thought was cute. Um, and hopefully this will fit. I picked this up in a size small. Good morning, everybody. I didn't close the vlog off last night, did I? So sorry. I think it ended with me trying on some bits from Zara, nothing fitted. I have no clothes for LA. So if the Instagram content is absolutely abysmal and boring from LA, you know why now. But yeah, the sun's finally appeared for our last day and um, we are now heading to Parma, where we were last night. Wearing this little white co shorts and this like shirty blazer thing with a little crochet bikini. Hair's in pink curls, but it's gonna come out soon. I'm actually scared to get home because of the sheer amount of things I have to do when I get home. I have a huge exciting thing to tell you guys, but I'm gonna tell you, you when I get home in another vlog, because it's too big just to throw in at the end of this vlog right now. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, we've got this big exciting thing going on and then we're heading to LA, so it's all going on. So guys, another day, another time of me walking around city centre with rollers in my hair. Not rollers, pink curls. Honestly, I'm past the point of actually caring now. Everyone looks at me like I'm literally an idiot. Oh, we're lost. 
no. we're trying to find the others, but we, we don't really know where we're going. But one thing I do know is that I'm hungry. Really hungry. I've only had a couple of pieces of pineapple this morning. Starbucks would hit different right now as well. It's not even far away. Is it not? Some guy just tried to sell me a pair of sunglasses and called me Lady Gaga. He said, Lady Gaga, for you sunglasses. <laughs> really? Is this what this hair is giving? Lady Gaga vibes? This is beautiful scenes. So pretty. We are just about to head down to the beach wearing a little swimming costume. Doesn't really give me much coverage, but it gives me coverage. So that's the most important thing. Honestly, I've said this before in my vlog, but my boobs literally, they're just sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller. And this trip, they've decided to be on the larger side and haven't really fitted into much, including the swimming costume. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head down now to the beach. We're all packed up, the room is ready to go. We really did have an incident though, my case busted open and the zip broke, but Ellen came and saved the day and managed to kind of fix it a little bit, so I've just got to be careful. Guys, I can't speak too loudly because we're in a public toilet, keeping it real, real glamorous. Jack just cut me in a, it's kind of like a long bob. Um, my natural hair has gotten really, really long now. So that bob style that I sometimes have, the really like short bob, it's, um, I can't really do it anymore unless I want to cut my natural hair, but I am trying to kind of like grow my natural hair. Um, so we've just cut in this long bob, we're just going to tuck it under now using tapes. So I always get asked like, what method I'm wearing. You can't even see them because they're literally that hidden. Yeah, I'll show the people. You literally can't even see them. It's crazy. You're just so talented. There they are. So that is, a lot of people probably don't even really know what extensions look like, but this is tape method. So it's like sticky. How would you even describe it, Jack? You're the pro. Um, like two sticks. like two bits of sticky tape, basically, but obviously not sticky tape. Yeah. And a bit of your natural hair in, in between, but they're super thin. You can see. It's like completely flat. Yeah, there. look at that completely flat to the head, so like your natural hair goes in between and you like sandwich the hair on top. Um, and no I really, I never used well. to actually love tape method, but I think for short hair, it is so good. And also if you want to still do slick styles and slick your hair and have like gel in it and have like really, really sleek, slick hair, this, this is the best method to have. All done. I love it so much. I haven't had proper short hair, well like short hair with extensions, not my just natural hair for so long and now I'm gonna to go to LA with a little bob. This haircut is actually very me. I feel like me when I have this hair, which is so weird because I've always had long hair, I've always had long extensions, but I do really, really love having this little cut. So yeah, we're gonna go out now, find some lunch, and then I'll be able to actually talk to you in a proper volume because I feel like I'm on mute right now. Right guys, we've just snuck away from the group to record our song quickly because I know we've been going about it all trip and um, we've worked really hard on it all trip. What? Why is it like so bright? <coughs> even brighter. It's even brighter. Okay. Right, hang on, so should we just introduce it quickly? Bearing in mind we've literally worked on this the whole trip, so if you're mean about it in the comments, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Yeah, don't come for us. <laughs> so what's it called? Three, two, one. Um, three, three, two, two one, one. Scared. scared. Come in a bit more, Jack. I feel like it's my solo. Scared. It's called Scared. I'm mean, not scared right now that we're going to get kicked out. Right. I've already been kicked out. <laughs> <Right. clears throat> I, I didn't, didn't know who to tell to. Who really knows me? Not many do. I can't stop thinking, what if? <laughs> Love at first sight. It's such, such a myth. myth. That's a banging lie. Shh. Oh, sorry. I was alone, alone, afraid, and scared. Just alone, afraid, and scared. Wonder you're there and now you're, you're gone. gone. Orbiting like the moon and sun. You, you took me out of space, space. I, was I was petrified. petrified. <gasps> and, and now I can not tell you. How I'm feeling inside Because I'm alone and afraid and scared I'm like a book with many pages <laughs> I'm like a book with many pages My love for you It grows in stages But maybe it's because we just don't have that spark oh, sorry Sorry, we're in the way. Sorry. I'm very sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'm 
<sighs> We've basically done anyway. Just quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, quickly. Then but maybe <laughs> it's because we don't, don't have, that have that spark. spark. Why, Why do you always leave me in, in the, the dark? dark? If I fall... Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if I, I fall, fall would you catch, catch me? me? Is this all? Alone I'm prayed and... <laughs> Your ribs are hurting. Ah, Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> now we are at the airport, finally. Because we've been in Palmer for like 100 years. Anyway, I've just got Ellen and I some at Tuesdays from Costa. Very, very Palmer of us. Very Mallorca. Mallorca. Spanish. <laughs> very Spanish of us. Um, I've not actually had any breakfast or anything today. Also, just a quick miniature story time about the scrunchie on Ellen's wrist. <laughs> I stole a scrunchie off Ellen three years ago, so she stole one. They look exactly like this, yeah. and it was my favourite scrunchie. And actually, the last time when this happened, we were actually in Mallorca. Yes. We were doing a PA in Magaluf. Yeah, so. well, which we don't talk about. <laughs> um, basically, Ellen took my scrunchie off me but has had it for three years and really does wear it basically every day so I actually am glad that you took it from me because you got a lot better use out of it and looked after it maybe have it long gone no like, I'd have lost it the same week let alone kept it for three years <laughs> hey guys so I've got to be really quiet right now because Tommy is asleep just next door um, I've done some pretty random outros to vlogs in my time on YouTube, but this has probably got to be one of the most random. <laughs> I am joining you from our hotel room right now in Los Angeles, where we've been spending the last 10 days on holiday. I'm really sad because I did put out on my Instagram this evening telling you guys that there was a, there's not going to be a vlog from this trip, and the messages I've been getting have literally been breaking my heart because I think a lot of you guys wanted a vlog from this trip, but honestly, I'm really glad that I, well, I'm sad I didn't vlog it, but I'm also happy I didn't vlog it because we have just taken this time to really, really just enjoy each other and have the most insane holiday. And it's just been incredible. I'll tell you guys all about it when I'm home. Um, we're leaving tomorrow. I'm so excited to get home and see the cats, be back at the house. Um, I love coming away so much. Like when we do get to have a holiday together, I I just love it so much. But I'm also so always so excited to get home because I'm so blessed and we're so blessed to love our life at home so much as well. Anyway, I wanted just to quickly come on here, make the most of this amazing Wi-Fi at the hotel and get this video exported and up for you guys. Um, because I know I filmed this a couple of weeks ago now. Also, I do want to quickly say I really nearly did crop the singing parts out of this vlog because I genuinely think you guys are gonna think i've lost my mind i promise you i'm not looking for a new career in singing and jack and i i promise you we're joking but yeah just a little disclaimer there for anyone that thought i was trying to be ariana grande and jack was trying to be i don't even know bruno mars but guys if you made it to the end of this video then i love you millions thank you so much for sticking around i can't blow you guys a kiss right now because i have my phone in my other hand but hopefully i will see you all in my next vlog bye